Well, good New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining me on another episode of a fabulous New Year's Eve episode. How many times did I just, I said episode like three times? It's been a while. Uh, just wanted to shoot a video. I haven't done one in a while. I've been crazy busy, as we all know. Uh, I have a box that I want to open. I've had for probably like two weeks now. Um, want to talk about wait but first a moment of silence for coffee okay um what was i saying been a while um got a box i want to open and a pipe that i want to light up i actually received this as a little christmas gift from Tyson, Faithfully Bearded. And I don't have anything this shape. This is vintage, probably from, I'm guessing like the 50s, Dr. Graybo. This is uh, the Duke. And this is made of a meerschaum, so like super lightweight material. So, uh, what am I looking for? Looking for my rubber bit. And I've already cleaned it cleaned it with a little bourbon, disinfect it. Just putting on a rubber bit so I don't beat up the stem. So let me move this down here so I can open up this box that I've got from Smoking pipes, I think. Yeah, smokingpipes.com. So, happy freaking early new year, everyone. And I may or may not be dropping something today. Some uh, New Year's Eve fire. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that. Merry Christmas to me. I didn't even, I forgot about these. And some tobacco. That's always good. Some samplers. And that's it. Oh, okay. First, let's look at what tobacco we got. Because, man, I'm making a mess. Because I want to light up that pipe. Creamy Vanilla by Newminster. And then Cornell and Deal Vanilla Cavendish. That sounds good. Ooh, I've been wanting to try this one for a while. Guilty Pleasure. The glorious mixture of Cavendish, Virginia, Carolina Burley uh, carries an irresistible aroma of vanilla, mango, and exotic citrus. Guilty pleasure. This is original black vanilla mixture. Danish black vanilla pipe tobacco by uh, Planta. Oh, and the Cornell and Deal, they do this every Christmas, a uh, corn cob pipe and a button nose. And the last one is Choo Choo Train, 25th anniversary blend. Uh, doesn't say, 
doesn't say what it is like vanilla or anything I remember reading it online and had to try it but let me smell this stuff is the creamy vanilla. Wow, it seems pretty basic. I might have to open up, bring this out. Do guilty pleasure. Are you ready? Let's see what the tin note is on this. Never had it before. do this it's definitely you can smell that exotic fruit right away hmm. okay I'm going to christen my Christmas gift with some guilty pleasure Well, I hope everybody had a fabulous Christmas and I really hope that everybody stays safe this evening. I know I'm going to chill out at home with the kiddos, play games, mix up some non-alcoholic daiquiris, kind of a little tradition I always do, the kids love it play games until our eyes fall out. And like I said, I may or may not be dropping some last minute fire today. So make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter because that's how you will find out about it. charring light let's get the it's like fruity and nutty already kind of has like a a woody note Feels like it wants to bite me a little bit, so I gotta be careful. It's good though, it's a nice little change up. I've been absolutely stuck on apricots and cream, so it's, it's hard for me to pull away from this one right now.
Pipe smokes great, Tyson. It's got a re really nice draw. Pretty uh, effortlessly. Very light, too. All right, let's get these opened up. And then let's talk about, hmm, I, I probably should keep it a surprise. Can't really talk about it if I'm gonna surprise you guys. <laughs> so again, make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter. Go to the website near the top of the page, right in there, there's a spot where you can uh, put in your email and Sometimes it'll go to into your spam. So once you put it in there, check your spam folder. You can just search like luxurious bastard or something like that to, to find it. Totally forgot what I ordered. But this is a Rossi by Savinelli. probably my favorite style and this is a it's almost like a satin raw finish I don't know how well that shows up it's got a kind of a draw on it is a little rough meaning like it takes some effort a little filter out. Oh, that's better. Probably use it without the filter. So this is a a Rubino, R-U-B-I-N-O by Rossi. Estates by Smoking Pipes. Well, I already like this. This bag feels like suede. Let's see what we've got. Peterson sterling silver band heavily this is like heavily rusticated it's like a root pulled out of the ground very nice pipe crazy hang on that too and I love the bit silky smooth draw that's a good sipper right there all right let's see what is next Mm. 
can tell by the shape already. A little coffee. All right, you ready? <laughs> this is I'm not even going to pronounce that. Laminetto. That is a beautiful sitter. It's made to sit. Have a filter in it. No. That's got a really nice shape, really nice feel. <clears throat> it's a great sitter. This is like a study pipe. Draw is okay, but man, let me tell you this Peterson. It's like silk. I don't know how they do that. Yeah, this makes no noise. Yeah. Anyway, here's the other one. Great size too, big bowl. All right. Last but not least. says jaw pipes <laughs> made in Denmark Whoa. I love that design it's, it's a great little size too the white stem an interesting bit too. It draws okay. That Peterson so far, the draw is, is literally like silk. J O H S doesn't really have a name handmade in Denmark but that is a cool little pipe I gotta make a I gotta make a wall rack for all my pipes awesome can't wait to fire this up I have a absolutely I think it's under its foot next lounge I'm gonna uh, show off my a custom pipe that I had made um, let me show you the box look at that presentation Bima pipes Indonesian handmade next long video all right do I have any good news to talk about other than just be safe stay tuned uh, sometime today look out for that newsletter not gonna want to miss some 
New Year's Eve fire I'll be dropping. Um, got a lot of great stuff coming uh, after the new year. Uh, 2019 was absolutely amazing. Everything, everything that we did. Um, giveaways, new profiles. <clears throat> I mean, there's, there's so much. I just, I, I have, sometimes I have to look at my Instagram feed and go, oh yeah. Because I am literally going nonstop all the time. It's a fact, you know, 60% of the time, I'm going 100% of the time. That doesn't make any sense. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone for an amazing year. Um, Thank you, Tyson, for my pipe. And uh, also, thank you for my nominating me, everybody for nominating me for the awards. That was crazy cool. Uh, Can't wait to have that sitting in my lounge on my lounge table here pretty soon. What else? Do I have anything else? Um, January 12th, uh, working with Dan C, we're going to finally be bringing Um, The Trusted Bastard, January 12th, and that's going to be available in an oil, a beard balm, and a butter all at once. Going to be amazing. Uh, So I'm sure you guys will be hearing more about that. Um, What else? What else do I got? Not a whole heck of a lot. I'm still kind of trying to be on vacation right now, but it's hard. (laughs) <laughs> a lot of a lot of things going on. <clears throat> I have, I think I got all you know, some of the orders that had come through over the last few days. I think I got them all out. There might be a few, but starting Monday, whatever day that is, I don't have my my calendar. But Monday I'll be back in full swing Um, other than that I think that's about all I got I want everybody to stay safe out there have a great New Year's and happy New Year happy early New Year and thank you again because without you guys without all your support I wouldn't be able to do what I do and be here so seriously thank you It's uh, almost 10 o'clock here. Need to finish up a few things and then uh, get my butt home and be safe. So until next time, get luxurious, my friends. Be safe. Thank you.